Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip, where we're taking questions from our viewers. The first one is from Patricia. My question is, I work, manage an elderly, an elderly property and with uh, pets, uh, and you can't charge a uh, deposit or anything. Uh, what kind of, uh, what can I do if the pet makes damages to the apartment? Um, because I can't charge anything against the, the, the pet deposit because they don't have to have one. And what constitutes uh, a regular pet or an assisted animal? Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Yes, and on an elderly property, the residents can have pets. You can charge a pet deposit. However, you cannot charge a pet deposit if it is an assistance animal. There are differences between the two. And the differences are, one is a need and the other is a want. A resident wants a pet. According to a third party, the resident needs an assistance animal. An assistance animal now is not a pet, and it has some type of service, either physical or mental, to a disabled individual. There has to be a nexus, which means a connection, between the disability and the animal. You may or must obtain a third-party verification for the need of the animal. Again, that was a great question, Patricia, and we really appreciate your question. Until next time, we'll see you again on Tuesday Tips.